Kearns! Big hit. Levin got him, Pincinelli, but Kearns and Lazarus paving the way for Nickow. Seven away. Now. Oh, Sweeney's over! Oh, they've parted! They have parted! And Swain has gone in. I'm blown away know what Matthew Johns was doing. No, something happened there. Amazing stuff. We'll just uh, have a look. Just freeze it there. Now just watch this play here. Matthew Johns, he sprints out of that line and leaves a huge gap there for Swain to get through. And then it was all over. That player, what was amazing, it was, I think it was Butterfield, was it? Not sure who it was, but, and the markers didn't work. There was a, just a huge gap there for Swain to get through. And he had a look, you know, good play from him. He got there and had a look. Butterfield was the marker and some slack Newcastle defence. I suppose the main thing here is the space that they offered Swain. Just have a look and see how wide the first defender is, especially when you're on your own line. He hesitated, Swan. Butterfield couldn't come across at second marker and make the tackle. But he has taken play on the first tackle almost to halfway. Marcus Blay does that. He's looking to play a big one tonight, Marcus. He always does. Here's a pass! That has seen Marquette go into the clear and then throw a kindergarten pass. Brogan. Ah, oh, that was home for your money. You've got to look at the man running on your outside, don't you, Ray? Obviously, Marquette made a great break there, but he didn't know what to do when he got into the clear. They're coming back. Let's have a look at the pass. Yeah, you've got a problem there, Paul, with the, the Jimmy Pike. Some... as a mascot now Nick Howe tried to turn Bowden in Bowden ran into Shields Butterfield hang Gee, I... I would dispute that play the ball the kick from Kamali pressure for Hughes oh Marcus Bly with a good chase that was a great kick there because these are in goals here they're very narrow perfectly weighted and the fullback Hughes hoping the ball would go over the dead ball area, but another great chase there from Marcus By. He's been the most involved player in the match so far, By. Plenty of hit-ups, five hit-ups already in this match. It's not, it's not only the number of hit-ups he does, Paul. It's, a, it's the amazing strength that he puts in. He makes 20 and 30 metres. Every time on kick reception, he gets up over that 30-metre line. Good platform. Robbie Kurtz rose to state of origin level this year. Evans running into a brick wall, formed by Butterfield. Kamali, Hill, Hill, Bell, Bell inside the 30. Carlo! In a touch. Beautiful tackle on the far side, and Grogan has hurt himself. Well, it's all Melbourne. Geez, they're, they're looking good tonight. They're looking sharp. They're playing with plenty of purpose and pace. Mind you, Paul, every time we've seen them, they've been very good for an hour. That's right. The, the test will come in the last 20, because you do know that Newcastle will come home strong. Craigie. The Harrigan story featured in the Herald Sun here today. And I think it probably has given this, uh, this crowd more voice. When you read the pre-match report in bold print that this referee has had it three times and we've lost three. Gidley, down the right of the ground. Now Big Moody pulled down beautifully. By Marcus Pies. Jesus, he having a game. Andrew Johns and there from the Newcastle Knights. He's Ooh, Marcus Pye. Big tackle hit. there. This was the loss of the ball, and then yeah, 30 metres away, 25 probably. Remind me not to take up selling real estate. Now Carlo. Carlo is 18 metres away from the line. This has got a. This has got a good smell about it, this game, a beautiful pass, Ross for Bay, Bay's across, Bay's over, it's no try though I fancy. The touch judge firstly stood back into the field of play, and that indicated to me that he saw a problem, 
I don't know what from where but I then sit. he's put himself into the in goal area of the touchline. He's got me baffled this touchy. From where I sit, I thought it was a try, Raps. And Marcus by once again. He's the he's the hero of Olympic Park. Well, there was nothing doing here, was there? Let's just see if he does put his foot in the touch. You'll probably find that this is a try. There's nothing wrong with that. It was a cheeky play to get down the short side. The numbers are three on three. And just That's the strength, normal. just the strength of Marcus Boy put his shoulder in. Don't know how he stays in the field of play. Just a normal. Once again, though, you tackle him around the legs, you stop his leg drive. He went high. And look at this, the one last big push. No tackle around the legs. He's allowed to push. And it'd be hard to see, it'd be hard to see the video referee knocking that one back. Well, John Yard is the man in charge of the video tonight. And he's given the green light. Well, Marcus By and Melbourne had no doubts about it. Neither did the fans. And it couldn't have come for a... A man that the crowd willed for more than Marcus By. Well, they've really tested the Newcastle defence every time they've had the football tonight, Melbourne. And the Kamali's having a great game. He's marshalling his troops left and right all over the field. The dummies holding the ball out in front. The Newcastle defence just did not read that. And the pressure was put on to Moody, who couldn't come up with the try saving tackle. See where the touch just stopped originally? He, uh, he confused me because touch judges stand in the field of play on the touchline when they That would be a very concern, Malcolm, really. Of the opinion will be an equally concerned Paul Harrigan. And here's the sound of the whistle for a knock-on. Well, he's lost the ball as he was getting up to play the football. There was a Newcastle player lying on the ground. Well, he's put that down. That's, he should have done that. He had to step over the play, just get out of the way there somehow. Well, Gidley did the right thing by trying to roll away from the play the ball. And that's First Lee and uh, Hill over the top, 20 metre line. They run to the left of the ground, and that is Jared O'Doherty. 15 out from the line. Matthew Johns and then Andrew. Dummies on the inside. Oh, intercepted! Intercepted by Robbie Ross. Is it all Kamali? It's Kamali! They're not going to get him! The little number seven has run the length of the field. Kamali has brought them to their feet. Three tries, 12 points to two. Oh, and rugby league is alive and well in Melbourne. Let me tell you, the crowd are going absolutely berserk. Newcastle, the best position they've been in all match. The speculator from Andrew Johns, and look at Kamali race away. He was understudy to Johns for years and years. He left the Knights to go elsewhere. He's ended up at the Melbourne Storm, and he's king of the castle here at the moment. Yeah, well, he was parked in the in the line of the Newcastle Knights. Beautiful taken there by Kamali. And the thing that impresses me most is his speed. Andrew Johns couldn't foot it with him. Across came the cover from Hughes. And that's just a great try, and won't he enjoy this one? Look at the smile starting to expand across the face. He's giggling. Giggling, did you say? Three tries to Neil. It's a smash up at the moment. And they're looking good. They're looking very good. Oh, I, I, I've got no doubts I've got to run that fast. Look, I think Paul used a word earlier. He said Melbourne are playing with more purpose. I mean, you've got to back that up. Everything they've done tonight has been so spirited. Newcastle just aren't in it at the moment. Three tries to nil, a 12-point mark. He left, as Paul said, he left because... Oh, gee, that's big on Lazarus. He left because he could see no future. And this was Lazarus copping it. Butterfield peeled off quite noticeably now, that, that limp. Butterfield's pass went forward. Moody is with it. Ooh, Harrigan didn't, didn't get a call from the touch judge, so play went on. No. What he has got from the touch judge is a call of touch by the defence. So they've got six more tackles. That's rather rather fortuitous for Newcastle because I did think the pass went forward. Oh, no doubt about it, it went forward. 
And as Paul was talking a little earlier about the, the go forward for the Newcastle Knights, not really sharing the workload. 33 metres out from the line. Open side again. Matthew Johns, floating pass, picking up Grogan. And Grogan pulled down by Bai and Kamali. 22 metres out on the last. What will he do? It's to him now, Andrew. And he goes right up into the sky again. That is a big kick. The bounce is favourable for Newcastle. And referee Bill Harrigan wants to look at it. Well, I think the ball's gone back. I think that'll be a try to Owen Craigie. Another thing that worries me is that uh, I felt that a Melbourne player was taken out without uh, Newcastle going for the football. Newcastle, they seem to think it's a try. It's the fullback, Robbie Ross. Is, is he taken out? No, he's not. Wrong there. It's come off. It's gone backwards. Come off. Carlaw into the arms of Owen Craigie. And once again, you couldn't see any reason why he'd knock that one back. Well, how desperate was it for the Melbourne Storm to keep them out? It's only to keep Newcastle out. Only about five minutes to half time. They just switched off in defence just for that second. It was a great kick. Beautifully positioned there from Johns. Off Carlaw's shoulder. There's no doubt that's a try to Owen Craigie. Billy Peden was lucky he didn't get a touch on it. He didn't, he didn't, according to our pictures, get a touch, and that's what Bill Harrigan's looking at, or asked the video referee to look at. Owen Craigie is confident that it's a try, and so too are the, the remainder of the Newcastle team. So we can expect the green light here. Now, hang on a second. He wants one more look at it. There was a hint that maybe the fullback Ross was tackled, but he wasn't off the ground and he wasn't tackled. Everything that I've seen indicates that this has got to be a try. And there it is. Green light. Newcastle have got across the line at long last. And I'll tell you what, didn't they need this? 14-2 at half time and they were just about out of the game, but 14-8 uh, is a different story. It takes them half from this. They haven't played well. They've been almost pedestrian in this first half, and uh, they needed this, uh, this try desperately. Darren Albert <laughs> robbed of a try after only being on the field for a minute. Craig, he snatches it out of his... He opened them up earlier. We saw him at his premium against North Sydney. As Kamali's kick goes in behind Moody. Moody. Oh, gee, he's been forced. Well, Mark Hughes is over there blowing up, but Moody's been forced in goal. Yeah, Moody was looking for a break here. He took his time. He's hoping the ball was going to go either into touch or dead in goal. Took plenty of time. As he picked it up, he put his uh, foot into touch. It's a line dropout in goal. You no know, soft option there when you're running the football back of Marcus by. Not only does he run 100 miles. getting better with every game we've seen him in. Grogan, Matthew John, Andrew John, and Seal's got a bad pass. By comes rocketing away and has lost the ball. Pinchinelli! Pinchinelli's over the line, is he? Yes, they've gone in to embrace him. Bill Harrigan is going to call on the video referee, but Neil Pincinelli looks like he scored. It does, his big right arm reached out, and I think he's, he's grounded. It's hard to tell from here, but Marcus Boy has made one mistake in the last year of rugby league. That was it when he dropped the football. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, did he drop it first? I reckon it's a try. Yeah. Down with pressure. I'm just wondering whether he, whether he didn't drop it for, first, though, uh, Steve. That's the problem. But it, and I was also concerned about the relationship of the ball to the line. Let's watch it again here. Does it leave the arm? Maybe it doesn't. It looks to, doesn't it? Well, never left contact of his forearm there, Poppy. Yeah, I, I've, I've got extreme doubts about it now. I just get the impression he loses it and then, if you like, pushes it forward. Newcastle have got no doubts that it's a try. Here. Oh, gee. 
It is a toughie, but I, I've just got some doubts on this one. And it's no try. He's lost it. And when you look at it again, if you look at the reaction of, of Piccinelli's face, it almost tells the story. I'll tell you something too, Newcastle have learnt one little art with the video referee. Doesn't matter what you know, doesn't matter what you know, get back and line up as though it's a try. What could be going through Marcus Boy's head to run? Newcastle with... Oh, Butterfield has made a terrible mistake. They had six tackles. 30 metres out from the line and Tony Butterfield of all people has frittered away those six tackles ah oh, poor old butt you don't wish mistakes on 40 metre line for Tawira now Kamali oh it's a horrible kick he's put another one out on the fall <laughs> This one's Lander down in Collins Street. Give him six points for that one. Oh, it's been an ordinary kicking game from both sides tonight, but the last two from Kamali out on the full. And, and I've got to say, not that much pressure put on him in that occasion. Let me correct that. Both sides really trying to play catch up, forcing the football early in the tackle count now. Andrew, is, is, is the place on fire or is that fog starting to come in? Yeah, well, it may not be coming through to the viewers watching at home, but this is fair to come like Loch Ness at the moment. The fog's just rolling in. I can hardly see the bloke standing next to me. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> so New Newcastle go on the attack down the right of the ground. Gidley! Gidley! He's got in behind them! He's in behind the fullback! He's away! Gidley's over! Newcastle have come back! Ah, he can play this bloke. He's had a great game tonight too. I think he's been Newcastle's best. He, he was very good in the first half when Newcastle were ordinary. Look at the nice dummy. Gets on the outside of his opposite in, in Martin. Then some tragic defence here. Look, one, two, three. Just bouncing him off, off him. And Gidley. And not just about even it up if Johns can convert the try. Yeah, very unlike Robbie Ross here. He generally puts his body on the line. He gets on the outside there of Martin. Just fends away. Robbie Ross one-on-one -on -one, really has to make the tackle here, had plenty of time. It's just an arm grab in the end. Martin comes again. And Gidley too powerful. He never did. Have a look at this. It's, it's reminds me of one night we tried to call a football match at Castlefoot in England on the 94 tour. You couldn't see a thing on against one of our champions Ooh, heavy stuff on Billy Peden he's lost it did Harrigan see it and he's gonna reel the Peden lost it of his own accord this will give the storm a chance and this is what the storm needed they haven't had any possession down in Newcastle's danger area at all in this second half and look the, the ground this ground is just like Canberra's home ground at night time. It's, it's greasy, it's very slippery, and the balls become slippery as well. So uh, handling is very hard. They go to the left of the ground where Robbie Ross... Ten, no, that's the 20. Now Kamali again. Ooh, heavy stuff. Hill supported. Runs into a shoulder. Turn. Space in front of him. Well, there was... Puts it on the ground. Swain for Kamali. Marquette, they've got a score. Bye. Marcus Bye. He's over again. Well, Newcastle's defence here, it was good, but it was ordinary because they couldn't put the Melbourne players on the ground. They allowed them to stand in tackles and offload. There's one. Here's another. They've got hold of Hill, but he's allowed to offload. Robbie Kearns has got some space think that he'd be held there and couldn't get the ball away but he does he pops it out onto the ground well picked up and look there's no uh, no troops at all out there for Newcastle well, that's been a strong point of his game this season Robbie Kearns the ability to offload the football albeit not a real good one but it did the job the quick offload there from Swain that was a trick no one panicked Marquette on the outside and who deserves a try better than this bloke no one on the field I don't think great try to Marcus by that's his second for the night. He's had a couple little blemishes in amongst his efforts when 
this match remembered the disaster of PNG basically on behalf of all Australians but especially on behalf of Marcus Bond and they've been collecting as well here for the PNG appeal tonight. 15 hit-ups for Marcus Bay. Still troubling him. That's the reason he stayed out there. They figured, well, he couldn't do any more damage. But now that he's cooled down, I don't think he'll head back out. And he will cool down quickly. Lazarus has got a problem, I think. Yeah, he's cramped in that left leg. So just checking that crowd, and it's a, it's a very good crowd. What did Andrew say? Eight degrees here. 14,214, but they have filled this stadium to uh, something that looks very good sitting up here in the, uh, in the commentary box. Some of their best players actually have been uh, some of the backs in Hughes, Moody, Craigie and Gidley. And there's another mistake from the Newcastle side, a drop ball, some strong defence from the Melbourne Storm. And oh, Scott, Hill, Scott Hill it was, the 5'8". Great hit over the top there on a much bigger man, Butterfield. There's the big fella getting stretched now. Watch this over the top stuff from Hill. Shoulder in. Great front on tackle there from the 5'8". Testimony to their strength is that he's basically a bench player and he's certainly one of their better players, Evans. Does well when he comes on penalty. This might, yes, it will. This will give Kamali his easiest kick and take them out of the clutches of a converted try. Well, oh, that's a tough penalty, isn't it? Probably Kearns. Watch Peden here just try and roll on the roll Kearns on his back. It's a struggle. Right yes, yeah, the old beanbag. Just about every team in the comp does it. Tries to get the the player on their back to slow the play the ball down and call the beanbag or the turtle the tortoise sixty six minute I think we might have been blaming Billy Peden and I think you'll find it was a bloke called Jared O'Doherty uh, who, who was the offender there in 18 Gotta remember the Billy's the Chiefs and we don't want to wrongly accuse him. Now, Kamali, he's taken them to a lead of eight. That and half past eight, of course, as Nickow provides on the left and Martin, Martin, gets on oh, Marcus Bailey, Marcus Bailey, he comes inside, he scores his third try. Marcus Bailey is celebrating tonight. Oh, that'll wrap it up for the Storm. A great effort by the Storm tonight. They completely outplayed the Newcastle side. I must say, a decimated Newcastle side. Plenty of speed out there, plenty of pace to burn. Newcastle players falling all over each other. And Marcus Bai didn't envy the job of Mark Hughes there, trying to stop a, a rampaging Bai. Haven't they had some luck when they've put some passes together? Moody in two minds here. Bai with plenty of pace on the outside. The little left footer to put him back on the inside. And plenty of support there from the Melbourne Storm too. And Marcus Boy scores right under the post. Watch his teammates get around him. That's his second tonight. That's his third tonight, actually. What a great game there from Marcus Boy. Such power and strength and speed. And that's the place to score them. Right under the post. And you probably don't need to be told that's the most number of... Don't worry about it, uh, Glenn. It'll be OK. Uh, for frame. Put away by... Craigie. And then for Carlo To be tackled by Pincinelli. Had a try disallowed earlier. Williams on the left to Morley. Further for Hill. Hill's over the line! Oh, dear, oh, dear. The Storm! Absolutely smashing Newcastle up now. 30 points to 12. Oh, it's a carve up. This time last Friday night, exactly the opposite was happening to the Storm. They were getting smashed. That's just poor defence there. Scott Hill has had a fine game. He forms a very good partnership with Brett Kamali. 
and he just ducks through some very ordinary Newcastle defence. That's all you can say about that. Yeah, and plenty of support again from the Melbourne Storm. This kid, do you can play. Plenty of strengths, just brushes away from a couple of tackles. Ducks under the last one. <laughs> He'll be happy with that one. Smile. Andrew. Well, they've crossed a few doubts here tonight, the Melbourne Storm side. I mean, they were struggling to get past the 65-minute mark against the likes of Brisbane and North Sydney, but they've gone on with the job tonight. You can see Glenn Lazarus on picture there. He won't be back. It's a strain. Seven and eight, isn't it? Yes, yeah, seven and eight. They get the home game. So there, there could be some semi-finals played in some history-making venues. A kick ahead. Albert's a mile in front of them. Albert touches down. But Bill Harrigan, and no, he doesn't need any help. Gives the try to Newcastle. 32 to 16. Well, Darren Albert can score a try in the last 15 seconds, can't he? The last time he played a game of football, he did this in the last 15 seconds of a match. Of course, that was the, the grand final last year against the Eagles. Here it doesn't mean uh, as much because it's they've been well and truly beaten tonight, but that'll give him a, a lot of confidence for the, the future. He's been out for so long too, I suppose one of the worries was, has he lost any of his pace? And the answer is no. How quick was he to get onto this ball? Does he get it down properly? Yes. Marcus By would score three tries when uh, they took up a donation here. Well, boys, the $1,000 McDonald's man of the match tonight, the three-try hero, if you like, Marcus By, the Melbourne winger. Plenty of wins by the Melbourne side so far this season. How does that win rate? Um, you know, this game is one of our best games. Uh, we had the Broncos last week, but we, we lost. But this was the best game we're going to come and prove ourselves. You know, we lost last week. We come back, we got our forwards back, Danny Williams and uh, um, Glenn Lassus back. So, you know, come up with a good win. It's, like, it's a good thing for us. Tell us, Marcus, what your goal is when you go into every game. Is it to be the busiest player on the field? But I just want to go in there and run over someone. I don't care. I just want to go in there and enjoy myself, uh, as I normally do um, for the last 17 or 18 games. Last few weeks, or at least against the big sides, Brisbane and North Sydney, you seem to stall at the 65-minute mark. Well, you certainly put that to bed tonight. You really played out the 80. Yes, I mean, I, I just want to go in there. Last week I played well, but did not satisfy with my game. But this week I want to go in there and prove myself. Finally, Marcus, a word, because it's been tough times in Papua New Guinea, the tragedy of last weekend. I'm sure you've got a few things to say. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm very sorry about the, you know, the thing, there, but I can help it. Um, well, the club is donating some money. I'm donating myself and my own pocket money to, um, to, to the uh, disaster in New Guinea, and uh, you know, we're helping uh, the, uh, the guys back home. Well said, Marcus. Congratulations tonight. Thanks, thanks a lot. Yeah.